Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase and another edition of my The Sixth Doctors series. Now this is a bit of a strange custom, uh, but there is a story behind it. Um, basically, in one of the promo pictures for The Sixth Doctor, we see him uh, with... It's Colin Baker and he's got, uh, he's got the Fifth Doctor's coat on one shoulder and the Sixth Doctor's coat on another. And... Um, I don't know why, but I had the Fifth Doctor figure spare. I had, I've got about three or four Sixth Doctor coats spare. Um, and this, when I got this Fifth Doctor figure, this is a stand, this is a normal actual uh, resurrection figure. Um, when I got this figure, unfortunately, this arm had broken off. Um, and so I was originally going to use this figure as the basis for my custom uh, regenerated, uh, newly regenerated Sixth Doctor. But when the arm arrived broken, um, I ended up putting this, these parts to one side and I used a standard uh, Fifth Doctor figure to create a, a, an entirely new custom version of the uh, regenerated Sixth Doctor. But then, when I was putting together the uh, the sixth Doctor's Life in the Workshop uh, custom figure showcase idea, uh, I started to look at what other costumes there were. And whilst the sixth Doctor did have a lot of interesting costumes and things like that, none of them really jumped out at me as, as things I wanted to make. And then I came across that promo picture. And as I might have mentioned in the other videos, uh, it's been again a while since I've recorded those and recording this one. There is something about the Sixth Doctor in the Fifth Doctor's clothes that actually looks very good to me, and I don't know what it is, um, but it sort of got me thinking about uh, about other customs I could do that had the Fifth Doctor in the uh, the Sixth Doctor in the Fifth Doctor's clothes. And then I came across this promo picture, and it really jumped out at me because it was something that was, again, that little bit different. That's quite strange. Um, and so all I've literally done is, if I turn it round, you can see it doesn't match up exactly right, and there's a few spaces. But again, you're never going to see it from the back. I've literally cut them down the seam at the middle, at the back, and then glued them uh, together um, so they do sort of sit close enough. Again, it's not perfect to the back, and. When you look at it from the front, uh, you can still see that the coats don't quite match up at the back. But when you look at it from the front, I think it works out. It works out uh, much better, and it, it is definitely, um, it is definitely a custom that is not. It's not normally something I would do, um, and in any other situation, this would be the kind of thing. Rather like just a simple head swap. This is exactly the kind of thing that I would think oh, there's not really much of a there's not really a challenge in it for me. But this in itself did present something of a challenge for me because not only did I have to do the coats, obviously I had to replace the arm, which I used the boil and pop method to get the old arm out and put the new one in. But it was just that a head swap is a head swap. That's that's just really simple to do and it it can create some good figures it's not usually something I do but it does it has been known to create good figures but th this is something again that I've literally just cut off one half of the coat replace an arm and that's it and again that might seem as simple as a head swap but the point is that as I said a head swap is something that is a common occurrence this isn't a common occurrence this very rarely something like this you know chopping over half of a coat and putting another one in, it really doesn't happen that often and so that's what really jumped out at this to me is because it really was something that I thought yeah it's it's easy it's simple and uh, it's you know something that doesn't really present a challenge but it's not something that I've done before it's probably not something I'm gonna do again but it was just something that I just thought I've got the parts uh, you know it's it's slightly fortuitous that I've got a broken arm on a uh, broken left arm on the fifth doctor figure why not just just for the sake of it um and it was just it was just an extra little something strange to add into the uh, the sixth doctors um so yes that is my two coat dual coat sixth doctor whatever i'm gonna call it as always i hope you enjoyed this video like favorite subscribe share it really helps me out a lot and be sure to check out the description below for a link to my patreon those are an exclusive webcomic and rewards people who support it and the funding generated by my patreon helps me fund future videos I salute you all.
and I will see you with another video very soon.